Hi, I'm Jonathan Edwards, and this is Be Still and Know, a moment to stop in our busy lives and listen to God. Nehemiah chapter 6, verse 9. They were just trying to intimidate us, imagining that they could discourage us and stop the work. So I continued to work with even greater determination. I've read the book of Nehemiah many times over the years, but what struck me with special force this time is his amazing resilience. Almost anyone can lead an organisation when the circumstances are easy and the sun is shining. The real test of leadership is what happens when you are living with constant pressure and an endless supply of discouragements. The only way to get through it is with resilience. And that's what Nehemiah had to a remarkable degree. From the very beginning of his heroic rebuilding operation, he had been mocked and threatened. The opposition intensified with time. No one would have blamed Nehemiah if he'd thrown in the towel, complaining about the unfair way in which he'd been treated. But he didn't. He not only hung in there, but continued the work with even greater determination. Whatever you do in life, I promise you that there will be times when the going is so tough that it looks as if the only sensible thing to do is to resign and move away. I'm not denying that there are some occasions when that is the right response. But often God's calling to us is, just like Nehemiah, to keep going despite all the problems. To do this requires a combination of character and faith. As we trust in God, he's shaping our Christian character. And with time, that grows and matures and becomes more secure and courageous. The wobbliness of our early Christian lives is replaced by a security and confidence as the Holy Spirit takes fuller control of our lives. But none of that happens unless we have a growing faith in the love and power of God. Nehemiah offers us an inspiring example of what that can look like in the midst of the most intense challenges. Let me pray with you. Loving Father, thank you that you equip us for every challenge that we face. Thanks for listening. I hope you have a great day and that you'll join me every day for Be Still and Know here on Premiere.